Good evening, fourth graders. Uh, today's mini lesson is going to be on using an area model for division. That's a new strategy. We spent lots and lots of days on the partial quotient strategy. We use another strategy today called an area model. So if you would, please uh, label your next page in your notebook. And when you have done so, unpause, close your notebook, and think along with me. So you probably have heard the term area model before. In fact, I know you have. So I want to make sure I review what an area model in multiplication is. We learned uh, that a little ways back. So that would be something like if I multiply 4 by 123. Um, an area model looked like this. We, we took that 123 and made it into expanded form. Like that. Multiplied it by 4 like that, and then we drew this rectangle, and we we made three a section for each part of this expanded form for each place value, and then we just multiplied according to what we did here. We did 4 times 100 was 400, 4 times 20 was 80, 4 times 3 is 12, and then we just added those up, 480. 12, and we got 492. So what that's doing, that area model, I'm going to start to set it up again. And if I do, well, I'm going to set it up a little differently. If I didn't go into expanded form, what I kind of think about doing when I make an area model is it's really just a fancy way to make your old third grade array. You know, what I'm doing is thinking about building a rectangle that's kind of four column or four rows and each row is 123 dots long right except I don't really want to bother I don't want to do all that it's going to take forever to go 123 so what I do instead of actually just counting all those is I kind of think of it like okay well there's going to be four in each column four 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 Four. And so I think, well, how many dots will there be in that 123 if I do the 100, if I just go out to where 100 would be? So let's just say this is my 100th dot here, 100, 100, 100, 100. So, all right, well, if I go to there, that's going to be 400. That's where this 400 comes from. It's like doing 100 dots. And then after that, there'd be 20 more. And let's say there's my 20th one over there. I say just in here, from here to 20, there'd be 20 rows and 4, so that array would have 80. And then I do my last 3, 3, here's my 20. And then I go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, and so there's my la my 12. And so what I'm really doing is I'm kind of shortcutting making an array when I do my area model. So to do that for division, we kind of go backwards, right? So we use that area model to multiply all the time. And I want to show you how to use it to divide. So if you imagine me trying to divide 385 by 5 using an area model, I'm, like, I'm thinking of like what that is, right? And then, so don't forget, division's the opposite of multiplication, right? So I could really kind of reset this up as saying, well, the same question is what number times 5 is 385. That's the same question. So I'm still looking for this same answer. And so if I thought about that as a multiplication question, that's kind of like saying, okay, well, let's build an array that's 5 this way. And then how many of those am I going to have to make? How far am I going to have to go the other way? until I get to 385 dots. I'm, I just don't know how many that's going to be. It's going to be a lot, but I don't really know how many until I get to the end. So what I can kind of do is I can kind of build up in an area model toward 385. I'm going to I'm going to leave those and say, okay, well, like I know if I did say um 50 dots. Let's just say I was like, all right, well, I'm going to make 50 rows. I'm not going to really draw them. 
but I'm going to make 50 rows of these dots, or 50 cones, rather. And if I imagine doing that all the way till I got to my 50th one, then I've done 250. All right, and I'm a good way toward that. And I can say, all right, well, maybe I want to do another 20 because if I do another 20 rows times 5, that's going to be another 100 dots. Now I'm at 350. So I'm trying to get to 385. And I've done 350. So I need another, what, 35 to go if I subtract those. And so I know actually to get 35 more dots here, I need that many more. That's another, what, seven I'd have to do to get there. And so look, I've already, I've found my answer up here. So I built an area model and I took me 50, 70, 77 dots to do it. So I know that 77 times 5 is 385, which means I know going backwards that 385 divided by 5 must be 77. Let me do another one before I have you do um, one by yourself because I think that'll be I think that'll be helpful. Let me duplicate this slide for you. Can be a little tricky. Sorry, my computer's not liking me right now. I do. Duplicate. Ooh. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's say I want to do um, 369 divided by 3, and I want to use this area model again to do it. So remember, if I'm trying to solve 369 divided by 3, that's the same thing as saying, well, what number times 3 equals 369? And so off the top of my head, I don't know. But let's imagine I'm going to build an array to show this, right? I'm going to start doing 3 this way. And I'm going to keep doing columns of 3 till I get to 369. That's going to take forever. It's going to be a lot of them, right? So I'm going to build my area model where instead of drawing all those dots, I just kind of imagine doing it, right? And I'm going to say, okay, well, I, I don't know exactly how far to go to get to 369, but I do know if I went out to 100 dots like that, out to there, well, I'm not going to make it all the way to 369, but if I did 100, then I'd have 300 dots here, making 100 columns. And that's a long way to go. So now I, I'm down. I started with 369. I've already got 300 of my dots, so now I just need 69 more. And then I say, OK, well, I know to get 60 making threes. I know that if I do, if I go out 20 rows, 20, 20, 20, then I know that 3, if I do 3 of those, 3 times 20 would be 60. I'd end up with 60 dots in here, right? 20, 20, 20. That's 3 times 20. So if I go out 20 dots, that's another 60. And now I just need the last 9, which I know how to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I just need 9 in there, which is 3 rows of 3. And I found my answer. 123. So I know now 123 times 3 equals 369. So that's the same thing as knowing this, that 369 divided by 3 is 123. All right, let's do one together. I'm going to go, wait, what's happening? There. All right, let's do 488 divided by 4 with this strategy. So I'm trying to figure out what 488 divided by 4 is, and I do not know. But I know that that's the same question as what number times 4 would give me 488. 
I can kind of reverse that division problem and think of it that way. So to do that, I know I'm going to make columns of four, right? And I'm going to keep going till I get to 488, except I don't want to do that. Too much effort. So I'm going to set up my area model to help me imagine that I am going to draw that whole full long array in my area model. And say, all right, well, I'm not going to go all the way to 488 because I don't know what to, how to get there. But I do know that if I went out to the hundredth dot on all these columns, it would be a long way that I'd end up with 100, 200, 300, 400 dots in this box, in this part of the array. And that would take me 100 this way to do it, 100 of those columns. <laughs> That's pretty close to 488. I already got 400 of them. Now I only have to do the last 88. Um, 80 seems like a good number for me. I can kind of say, okay, well, I could start my fours again in this part. And if I went out to the 20th one, it'd be 20, 40, 60, 80. Then I'd have 80 more of my dots of my array in this part of the array. So now I'm up to 120 columns. And then I, that's another idiot. And I only have to deal with my last eight. And that's easy to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So to get my last eight, I only needed one, two more columns. And so now I've kind of like thought about drawing 122 columns in my array. I just didn't do it. It's kind of like it's using my imagination. So now from here I can tell that 4 times 122 is 488. Four, that's what this model means. 4 this way times 122 this way equals 188. And since I know that, that's the same thing. Not 188, 488, I'm sorry. And so that, that's the same thing as knowing that 488 divided by 4 equals 122. So that's how the area model strategy works. It's like you imagine drawing an array and you just kind of take some shortcuts and do it in big chunks. Uh, if this was tough for you, and it may have been, this is kind of a tough strategy. I think this is tougher than partial quotients are to divide. Um, if you need to go back and watch these again to kind of have a better understanding, please do. Um, if you feel like you kind of get what we were doing, then we'll practice a little more with your you do's when you get to school tomorrow. Have a great night.